previously on Figure It Out. From 1984 to 1989, LJN had the rights to produce officially licensed WWF action figures and toys. Unfortunately, in the autumn of 1991, there was a recall issued for the Slingham and Flingham ring. There were four very serious injuries which resulted when children ranging in ages from 6 to 10 years old fell onto one of these toys. In each case, one of the four rigid plastic corner posts penetrated the child's body cavity. Despite LJN going out of business and a recall being issued for the ring, its story still does not end there. In 1996, Jax Pacific picked up the rights to produce WWF action figures. Somehow, they obtained the mold of the LJN Slingham Flingham Ring, and they released it as the WWF Monster Ring. Even risk of impalement can't keep a good toy down. I am Steve Autumn, and this is Figure It Out. Jack's Pacific did put some rounded plastic caps at the tops of the ring posts to prevent impalement like its previous successor, the Slingham and Flingham ring. Initially, the ring looked similar to the 1980s version with the red, white, and blue ropes, with, of course, the blue apron. The 1996 Monster Ring version had stickers on each side of the apron representing the pay-per-views at the time. Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, and Survivor Series. By 1997, the WWF was entering the Attitude Era, and the color scheme changed accordingly. The surface of the ring was molded in black plastic and all of the ropes were red. In addition to those changes, the apron stickers now had the Raw Is War logos. Since this ring was made with the large LJN figures in mind, the moniker Monster Ring was incredibly accurate. The Jax figure line was in completely different and smaller scale though. So this ring, the Monster Raw is War ring from 1996 and 1997 was too large for the figure line. When a figure was placed in the ring, the top rope was actually taller than the figure. Unfortunately, these rings didn't withstand the test of time. Although the posts and ring are rather sturdy, the ring posts weren't meant to be removed once installed. As a result, a lot of these rings on the secondary markets like eBay, Amazon, and flea markets have corner posts that have been snapped off. The ropes also lose their bouncing over time and become stretch and saggy. Though this ring was not recalled, it was removed from the market to make room for current day products. I have been Steve Autumn, and thank you for tuning in to another edition of Figure It Out. Do you have a toy you want us to discuss? Just write it down in the comments section.